Welcome to this special episode of Diaspora Dishes, brought to you by IOM Belgium and Luxembourg's Diaspora Insights podcast. In this series, we explore the connection between the diaspora's cuisine in Belgium and their rich cultural heritage. To honor Eid, the feast celebrating the end of the Ramadan, we sit down with Anka Rodriguez, a social cultural worker of Woom. Eid Mubarak! Hello everyone, today we're here with Anka from Voom. Maybe you want to introduce yourself a little bit? Hi, my name is Anka and I work at a social cultural organization called Voom VZW. Uh, we are active in Brussels, Ghent and Antwerp and we love to connect people through fun practices such as food, music and different sorts of art such as slam poetry um, and other types of art. So, uh, we're here today to have a conversation about food and I was wondering, uh, first of all, what your favorite food is? Oh, oh that's difficult. Yeah. Um, I didn't really think about this one. <laughs> <laughs> um, I really love, since my uh, father is from Spain, mm-hmm. um, he and my mother lived there for a while and my mother makes the best paella. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think that might be my favorite food, but mm-hmm. only the one from my mom. But also, I really like mojata. Oh, <laughs> so you work for the organization Voom, uh, and I've also worked for Veggie as Halal. Maybe can you describe uh, more exactly what Voom and what Veggie as Halal, uh, what you're doing, and uh, what your job entails exactly? Okay, so I'm a social cultural worker, and I'm mainly active um, in Voom. So Voom consists of nine core practices. We have Veggie Halal, is uh, one of our main practices. We have Yalla, which is about nightlife and Middle Eastern um, DJs and electronical music. Then we have Beyond the Lines, it's about calligraphy. It's like the combination of calligraphy and graffiti. And then the next one is We Need to Talk About It. It's a podcast where we want to discuss taboos or sensitive subjects with people from all around the world. We have um, ELD, Uh, it's about uh, different religions that come together and talk about different religions. Uh, We have uh, the Emancipation Prize, it's about where we take different organizations and people from all around in Belgium who we want to put on a pedestal and say Look what you've done this year! Amazing! Uh, we also have International Iftar, which is, it speaks for itself. We organize a great Iftar uh, and we want to bring together people who are religious, but also people who are new to Islam or are curious about it or just want to have a good evening, uh, a fun night. And then the last one is workshops in the um, in prison. So we work together with the the Rode Antracit, um, and it's an organization that wants to have different um, workshops for people who are in prison, and we help with that as well. Mm-hmm. Um, and then the Veggie Salal part, mm-hmm. it's, um, it consists of two parts. We have the social catering, uh, mm-hmm. where we have a big pool of um, volunteers who are from all around the world. Uh, but live in mainly in Ghent, but it's also active in Antwerp and Brussels. We ask in our uh, group for, of who wants to cook, and then we make sure that those people, their strengths are enlightened, and then we can work together with them, and we make very, very, very nice food. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and <I'm> then, <laughs> yes, uh, the second part uh, of Veggie Halal is about the prep talks, and here we want to put people in the spotlight with their own strengths about their cooking mostly or uh, the group we want to um, activate are mostly uh, female participants um, in the from 40 years and older who are not really active uh, in the work space but we want to strengthen them we want to say that look what you're doing it's very good and we want to in that way you put them in the spotlight and they give a workshop about the national dish they want to make Mm -hmm. but it's not just with how they would make it at home maybe we always make it vegetarian Mm -hmm. or vegan so it's it's 
that's why the name is Veggie is Halal. So, um, and my role in it. Uh, so I'm a social cultural worker and I help organize different events. Uh, we listen to what people want from our uh, volunteers and then maybe they say they, they want an iftar with different kind of food and we organize an iftar mm -hmm. and maybe they want slam poetry in combination with a catering then we yeah. organize that. So we want to listen to the people what they want and it's for everybody. Okay. So uh, you mentioned that Veggies Halal, that uh, they organize also some workshops like prep talks, mm -hmm. um, especially during Ramadan. So in your work experience, uh, what role does cultural heritage play in shaping Veggies Halal's identity and mission during Ramadan? Okay, so um, in my opinion, food brings people together. Mm -hmm. It brings people together from different places, but also from different generations. So the goal with Veggies Halal is to bring these together through food and also make it vegetarian so everybody can eat it. There's not like limitations for people that might, oh I'm allergic to this or I can't eat meat or is it halal or you know. Through that we bring them together um, and by reinventing the dish and making it vegetarian we also keep true to to the traditions of the people and how they make it at home and talking about it and by giving the information it 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 preserves the <laughs> these traditions who we think are also very important um, and I think that's the main goal of veggies halal also during Ramadan it's very important to be together to net, not like network but feeling the feeling like you're not alone mm -hmm. um, yeah, feeling connected yes yeah. feeling connected and it's very nice to see how people make through friendship friendships during the workshops mm -hmm. people like Sometimes they even start their own business after that because they like really believe in themselves that they can organize it's something that they can cook, that they're strong and that's very nice to see. Yeah, okay. And uh, for example, people who host the prep talks, like, does it have a special meaning for them to do it uh, during Ramadan? Uh, I think so, yes, because some people are very insecure sometimes and they put them, their insecurities aside and want to feel connected to mm -hmm. the people who they are giving the class to and I think they learn to trust themselves and that's very important. Also, as I said, the connection is it's, I think one of the most important lessons that they learned um, and during Ramadan it's also like the spirituality that, that they can share with people who maybe didn't really think about something mm -hmm. like that in that in that way. In our workshops, we give the space to mm -hmm. talk about all of those things. It's not just cooking. Now you know how to make the dish and buy. Mm -hmm. It's just sitting together, eating, and like enjoying that moment as well together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wow. yeah, it sounds lovely. <laughs> it <laughs> in the spirit of Ramadan. Yes, yes, yeah. it is like just eating together, bringing people together through food, and I think that's a very big yeah. thing of, of Ramadan as well. Yeah. And so, can you share a memorable experience where Veggie's Halal's work during Ramadan helped foster a deeper appreciation for cultural heritage mm -hmm. among its uh, diaspora customers or like the people who host the workshops? Mm -hmm. um, for example, I think it's a connection through Voom and Veggies Halal. Mm -hmm. um, we had an opening, a grand opening of our new office and there we had like the social cultural catering of Veggies Halal and uh, we had workshops throughout the day like um, calligraphy, henna workshop, um, VR painting. So we brought all the practices together and um, it was very fun to see how everybody from the neighborhood like 
came to see what, what was happening and they felt really for me what was memorable was at the, that night we had like four different cuisines so that was also fun to see bringing them together like they never some people never had noodles for example it was like not a typical Ramadan dish, iftar dish, but it was um, quite uh, different. Uh, but it was fun to see them trying new things and talking about their new experiences, getting to know new people and informing them about what is iftar, what, what are we doing. And I think that what for them was very important. Oh yeah, it sounds like really great memory. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was, very nice. Especially and it didn't rain, so... Oh, okay, great. <laughs> In Belgium it's always Yeah, it's like... Mm. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but that brings us to our last question already. Um, what is your dream goal within Voom and within Veggies Halal? Hmm. Well, I think the goal is to keep bringing people together connecting them through food and traditions, but also not being afraid of new things, trying new things. Um, I think maybe one day have like our own kitchen mm. and our own restaurant maybe. Ooh, <laughs> that would yeah, be nice. Yeah. And bringing people together there and seeing, tasting different dishes and especially like strengthening the women in our mm -hmm. cooking group yeah. by showing their capabilities and how how they bring people together through their food that's the most important thing for me like showing them that they are amazing mm -hmm. and um, and for whom I think we're doing very good now and I, I just hope that maybe we can expand more I mean by expanding it's just showing people the positive side mm -hmm. of things and the cultural social cultural part is it's just very fun and by connecting people from different religions different backgrounds mm -hmm. everything that just bring them together through fun things and just highlighting the positive side of things not focusing on that so that's I think two big dreams okay great thank you for coming and thank joining you. this conversation thank you for listening yeah. to me yeah and happy eat oh, yeah. <laughs> happy eat